in a pastoral land where the bustling activities of humans gently converged with the enigmatic woods of echoes. Three horses named Arian, Sol, and Azure lived in a pen. This pen, nestled at the edge of the mysterious forest, was a place of safety and familiarity for the horses. Yet, one day, a surge of curiosity and a desire for adventure led them to leap over their enclosure and into the unknown embrace of the woods. As they ventured deeper, their initial excitement was soon tinged with the realization that they were lost. Arian, with a coat as green as the forest's canopy, felt a thrill at this discovery, seeing it as an opportunity for exploration and adventure. Sol, whose coat shone like the golden rays of the sun, felt a wave of apprehension at first, but this soon gave way to a sense of wonder as she observed the beauty and the intricacies of the forest around them. Azure, with a calm demeanor and mane as blue as the twilight sky, accepted their situation with tranquility, seeing it as a chance to connect more deeply with the natural world. It was at the stream of vigor that was piercing the forest through like a pulsing vein in the wilderness, where their adventure took a significant turn. Upon drinking from its crystal clear waters, they experienced a moment of clarity. They realized that this very stream flowed through their farm, a vital lifetime they had often seen but never truly noticed. This insight was like a guiding light, and with newfound confidence, they decided to follow the stream, trusting it would lead them home. As they journeyed alongside the stream of vigor, they stumbled upon a stone monument that looked like... like three horses. Their surprise rose even greater as they noticed a wild mustang standing by the sculpture and still as the boulder itself. I was expecting you, young ones. My name is Eldur, and I am happy you finally came. With his silvery mane reflecting the dappled sunlight, Eldur was a legend among the forest creatures, known for his wisdom and his deep connection with the mysteries of the woods. Eldur spoke of the ancient tales of the Woods of Echoes, stories that had been whispered by the trees for centuries, but were unknown to the outside world. He told them of the enchanted paths that wove through the forest, each leading to wonders and challenges, and of secret harmony that bound all creatures of the forest together. His words were laced with an ancient magic, and as he spoke, the horses felt a profound connection to the woods. At the end of his tale, Eldur invited the three friends to stay with him in the woods and enter the path of growth through challenges and trials. So, and Azure, feeling the enlightenment of the woods, but a strong connection to the home they spent their entire life in, immediately thanked Eldur with a gentle refusing. But Arion, on the other hand, tugged at his heartstrings, immediately felt with the flow of the very moment. I'll go. His commitment sounded like a whisper of uncertainty, and as a yearn of delving deep into the soul of the woods and into the soul of his own. A poignant moment unfolded under the twilight canopy of the Woods of Echoes. Arian, Sol and Azure, standing beside the gentle stream, realized that their paths were about to diverge. The time they spent in the woods had awakened different desires in each of them. Sol, reflecting the warmth and brightness of her golden coat, yearned to return to the familiarity and comfort of their pen, her soul enriched yet anchored in the world she knew. 
Azure, embodying the tranquility of his blue mane, longed for the serene rhythm of their own life, carrying with him the deep peace he found in the forest. It was Arian, with his vibrant green coat, who felt an unquenchable thirst for the mysteries of the Woods of Echoes. The stories of Eldur, the ancient magic of the forest, and the unexplored paths that lay ahead called to him irresistibly. With a heart heavy yet hopeful, Arion turned to his dear friends. In the cold glow of the moon rising, they exchanged a farewell that was as deep and meaningful as their time together. Words were few but the understanding was profound. With a nuzzle, a gentle whinny, and a lingering gaze, they expressed their love, respect, and the unspoken promise that the bond they shared would endure, despite the physical distance that would now separate them. As Sol and Azure turned towards the pen, carrying with them the memories and wisdom of their journey, Arion stayed behind with Eldur. The old wise horse welcomed Arion with a knowing nod, signifying the beginning of a new chapter in Arion's life. A chapter filled with adventure, learning, and the endless mysteries of the Woods of Echoes. The last glance between the three friends spoke of gratitude, growth, and unbreakable connection of shared experiences that transcendent time and place. Their journey back was reflection of their growth and newfound understanding. Soul moved with a grace born of her deepened connection to the world around her, and Azure provided a steady, calming presence. As they followed the stream, the sights and sounds of the forest seemed to encourage them the once intimidating unknown, now a familiar friend. Finally, as they reached the end of the woods, where the stream gently flowed into their farm, they stepped back into their pen, no longer just as horses, but as beings who had journeyed into the unknown and returned wiser. The adventure had changed them, not just in their outward journey through the woods, but inwardly, in their understanding and relationship with the world around them. In the woods, they found a new fellow, wise and wild Eldur, but they say goodbye to an old friend. Will they ever see him again?